All right, that's at 4 o'clock Pacific on TNT. Game two of the doubleheader, Rockets and the Spurs. Game one, Spurs six, 213. Early money for the Spurs and the under. And how about the series price? Look at this, it opened 205. Now the Spurs are up to 280. Uh, in, the, in the four matchups this year, it's interesting. Houston won at San Antonio, 101-99. Harden had 24, 15, and 12. The Rockets were 10 of 30 from three. They lost at home, 106 to 100. Harden had a triple-double in the loss. Gordon had 27. They were 15 of 43 from three in that one. 102-100. The Spurs won that game. They were 6 of 38 from three. I think we were on that game here on sports, but that was a vicious beat. Remember, the Rockets led by 13 with four minutes left and lost. And then 112 to 110. Kawhi had 39. Houston led by six with three minutes on the road, and that one it couldn't close. So they're right there with them. They could have won this series three to one. Yeah, but they didn't. And that's perhaps the Pop versus D'Antoni issue or the issue that San Antonio has when they come to their end game. Because the Spurs end game uh, has been tremendous, remains tremendous, and it's likely to be a problem for Houston in this series. But, you know, we look at the Rockets and James Harden, he's run the show for Houston all season. Now the supporting cast really has to step up because Harden's going to face uh, significant issues in his defensive counters. He's got Kawhi Leonard, obviously. He has Danny Green uh, at the two and the three spot uh, for San Antonio. Off the bench, Jonathan Simmons can give him problems. Kyle Anderson posted good defensive numbers. So Pop has plenty of bodies to put in front of James Harden. He's got fouls to give. So it's not just about Harden putting up numbers. He's got to make his teammates, get his teammates involved, and he has to generate pace. Yes, I think he'll do that in this one. Remember, the Rockets did beat OKC in five, and they were horrible shooting the three. Gordon, we have to play faster. We have to play fast to get great shooting opportunities. This is a great quote here. Uh, to get open looks, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have to push, up, push the pace up. Regular season pace, defense. Look at this graphic. Houston was third in pace. 18th in defense, Spurs were 27th in pace, first in defense, and D'Antoni was happy with his defense, and I know Harden told the team before the playoffs, sometimes we're not going to be able to shoot the three, we have to do it in other ways to get the win, and they did that against OKC. Yeah, interesting to note that Gordon quote saying, we have to play faster, that's what we're going to do, we're going to push the pace, and yet the early money in this game has come on the under, so the wise guys are seeing it a different way. Here's what Mike D'Antoni said about the Rockets' defense. Quote, we've had parts of it we've done well. We've had stops on the man. Anytime you win 55 games, and we should have won more, and have a great road record, you've already played defense. You can. You have that possibility. We've shown it. We were locked in last series, and we'll have to do it again. And, of course, you talk about defense for Houston. You have to talk about their perimeter stopper, Patrick Beverly. Quote, I think this, is, I think this team is improving throughout the postseason. Our defense is kind of setting a tone. Last game, we kept an explosive team under 100 points. That's always good. We're not shooting the three well, as you mentioned, Paulie, that they didn't hit threes throughout that OKC series. That's how basketball is, but we're defending. That always puts us in position to win basketball games. If you think about our defense being where it is now and our offense when it comes, the sky's the limit with this team. If you ask me which of these two Donner Dogs is more likely to win the series, I'd probably look at the Rockets. Yeah, you're not high on San Antonio. I mean, Memphis gave them all they could handle. Yeah, they sure did. Uh, I mean, Houston and Houston has some advantages of their own. You know, two of their best defenders can check Kawhi. You know, when you talk about Ariza and Beverly, Beverly gives up size, but he's going to get the call on occasion because he can deny Leonard the ball. Uh, and obviously, Ariza has got the wingspan to give uh, Kawhi Leonard some issues. But the thing the Spurs need, they need to get LaMarcus Aldridge into his A game. I mean, he wasn't great in the regular season. 17 points on 47% shooting. He wasn't very good at all in the first round of the playoffs. Under 15 points a game and just 45% from the field. The Rockets are going to try to draw his T out, D outside on Ryan Anderson. Aldridge has got to be the go-to player against Anderson on the other end. And they have to get Anderson going, too, because uh, he did not shoot the ball well from three at all. Uh, we I talked to uh, David Thorpe, at Coach Thorpe on Twitter. He was concerned... Uh, he's a real good NBA guy. He was concerned that Anderson has a hitch in his shot that hadn't been there the entire regular season. So that one correction to uh, that 106-100 loss, 15 of 47 from three with the Rockets. So it could be bombs away in this series. Up next, we'll get to the NFL, the draft and win totals on Sportsbit. Betting insight today on SBRPicks.com. 
Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.